Hey guys, let's find out how much dust did Inwin301C accumulate for one year. Uh, welcome to Tech Touch. I'm your host Donatas, and uh, I've pulled out my computer out of its IKEA Alex uh, uh, unit, and we're about to find out. So. Uh, and also, if you stick to the end of this video, I'm going to reveal something absolutely crazy about this case. Uh, something probably no one knows. And it's quite fascinating. So stay tuned. So, originally I got this case because it's so small and it fits in a M80X motherboard. Which I'm a fan of. I don't like uh, wasted space in cases. So uh, I picked this one out and it actually has gone up in price. So I feel like a winner in one year the, the, this case's price increased by 40% from 90 something euros to 135. So I guess it is still relevant. So let's open up and see how much dust is there. Okay, so you just push on this, pop the glass out very carefully. Let's put it away. All right. Let's see. Okay. Okay, let's touch the back of the case, not to get some static. All right, so... Uh, Let's see on the CPU fan. Ha, huh, there is nothing. There isn't, there's no dust on it, surprisingly. Okay, let's see the back plate of the... Oh yeah, there's definitely some dust there. On the back plate of a uh, GPU, but mm, it's not too bad. Let's see on the fans, on the bottom of the case, okay. Hmm. All right, there's definitely dust, but it's definitely more moderate than I expected. And this is the best case scenario. It is because um, I've actually put, let me, let me shine light on that. I've actually put, uh, filters on the front slots for the fans, they were unfiltered. I've also stuffed uh, like a sound dampening material. I just glued it to a box and stuffed it here to uh, close this opening. I've also winded a wire there. There was opening here too. Uh, and I put wires of the PSU also to to just clog the spaces here so that uh, the air could only come in through the front and the bottom. Uh, so this is the best case scenario. So one year of use, there's a mild level of dust, not bad. Now, some of you might say the fans are supposed to be on the front and blowing the air out that way. I've actually tried that and when these, the fans are here and they blow air into the case's front panel and when the rear fan blows out and the PSU blows, uh, sucks in the air up and the CPU fan blows also that way, this place is becomes crazy. Uh, and if the case becomes ridiculously noisy, it's like a vacuum. Also, when it's blowing into the panel, there's just like a centimeter or two of space there. There's like an echo chamber there, uh, makes just ridiculous noise. So the, the, the real only case scenario for this case is fan in the rear and two fans in the bottom. Those that are wondering, these are uh, Be Quiet Silent Wings Free 25 millimeters uh, fans. And this is the Asus ROG Strix 1660 Super uh, graphics card which is two and a half slots 
And as you see, there's there's enough space. Uh, I can put my hand in there, so it's not bad. Also, in this configuration, the the GPU fans don't even spin most of the times because they just get fed the air from the fans. Um, so about the case, uh, it's it's absolutely gorgeous. We we all know that already. Um, it's supposed to take 160 millimeter uh, cooler towels, and I can confirm that because this Arctic Freezer Esports uh, 32 is 158.8 millimeters. So when I put it in, uh, I was actually wondering if the glass is going to close and, you know, not shatter. It was a nervous moment, but it was okay. I guess there's a milli millimeter of clearance left. And now, uh, why a 2.5 slot um, graphics card like that? I mean, I could have gone for two slot card and have a little more space between the fans. Well, this Asus card actually uh, has like a rear thing here. It blows air not just up, but kind of out of the case. And for this small case, and I have a extremely hot GPU. It's not a powerful GPU, but it's extremely hot. So that was what I wanted. Um, so what I've noticed during the year of using my case is that uh, it's it's not it's it's not silent, but it's not. It's not loud. I went to BIOS, made my fan curves. I slowed down all the be quiet fans to 500 RPMs. Uh, and uh, the, the Arctic freezer fan is actually fantastic. It's, it's so silent, I did not expect that. It doesn't have any rubber padding or anything. Mm. So big shout out to arctic and kudos for making such a great fan um i've also also noticed it's pwm but uh i did not hear the you know the clicky clacky sounds the pwm fans make now these be quiet fans uh, silent wings free when they're in pwm mode uh they're actually making the making a strange sound so in the motherboard i've swapped to dc power which completely eliminated that sound so uh, the only loudest thing which is left in the case is actually the PSU fan, which is surprising. It's a be quiet, straight power uh, PSU uh, with, I believe, 140 millimeters PWM fan. And it's not supposed to make any sounds, but you can definitely hear the clicky clacky sounds of its, of its fan. Uh, I previously I've owned a be quiet, straight power uh, supply and it was a lesser model but it had a fan which did not make the clicky clacky sound so uh, overall since you know my hearing is very sensitive and uh, because I'm kind of blindish uh, I managed to make it quiet and uh, I don't hear it at all when it's in my IKEA Alex unit uh, maybe three feet away if I put my ear to it I can hear the clicky clacky of the power supply unit now I'm actually surprised there's so little dust I was expecting this to be um, like monstrous amount of dust perhaps these filters helped um, and you know clogging up the other openings where the air could come in now, uh, what I've noticed is, in this case, that uh, the rear fan and the power supply uh, fan, they suck in air, and it, the air that comes from the bottom is not enough, so it sucks in the air through the front. You can feel that by touching the rear panel with your hand. It's cold. It's sucking in through, through there. Originally, I thought maybe I should, um, you know... Uh, completely seal these uh, spaces and let it take the air only from the bottom. But then I thought, uh, how the rams are going to get the air, you know? Uh, uh, 
these are the Flarex, um, G-Skill Flarex ramps. I was wondering how they're going to take their, the, take their air, get their air. So I, uh, I just, you know, put filters there, getting, get, give them clean air. Uh, also what I've noticed about this case, you could actually just pull, pull away this rear fan and just leave one here in the front, uh, bottom and one in the rear. That's, that's more than sufficient, more than sufficient. I've uh, done uh, extensive thermal testing and actually you could actually get away with, you know, if you're not playing too much games, uh, get away with one rear fan at the back. That's that's just crazy. This filter at the bottom of the case is, uh, there's like a design thing going at the bottom of the case and the filler itself, um, I cannot pull it out with one hand. Uh, Okay, it has like a design a T2 and it just restricts airflow quite significantly. Significantly. Uh, so now, what I also noticed about this case, for for example, for the rear fan, um, there's like this groove here right behind this, so I can route its uh, cable. See, it goes through there. It goes behind there through the bottom here and into the motherboard. And the bottom fans, they actually hide all the connections and all, you know, all the cabling behind it. So it looks nice and sleek and clean. Uh, there's, uh, uh, there was a USB-C cable plugged into the motherboard, but I, I'm not using it, so I have unplugged it. And I've also unplugged the front uh, headset jacks, uh, the cable that goes to the bottom left from to the motherboard, I removed it because um, my MSI B550M motor came with a faulty uh, uh, sound card unit and I cannot use it. So I just used that cable. I just waggle waggle it like uh, not here where where, where I don't remember. Uh, should be right here. Yeah, I waggled it here to see <clears throat> just to seal the space which is under the driver cage and the uh, the back of the case. Uh, what else you should know when you're buying this case? It's pretty heavy. Uh, it's um, it's just beautiful and small. There's there's really not nothing else to it. It's all about the design. There's no functionality. The airflow is not good, um, but I, it's 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 pretty it's pretty good. Um, and now, guys, so uh, since you've stuck through all my rambling and ranting and talking and telling, um, the big secret. All right, so let's unscrew the the back panel. Okay, so, so you see the back panel is a metal. Now, this is crazy, but let me move some things away. Let's not scratch the table. I am sorry for the camera. Okay, so I've just put the panel into the front panel's place, as you can see. And now, let's just screw this. Uh, into place. Yeah, this one actually did screw before, but uh, gotta get into, gotta catch the hole. Not doesn't want to go in, uh, but yeah, it, it it's because probably because I've disassembled the uh, hard drive cage unit and uh, maybe something misalignment. I would probably fill and get this in there, 
But yeah, you can use the rear panel for the front, for the side of your case, and you can have it all in steel and get the extra uh, air intake uh, for your GPU and power supply unit. So yeah, that's the big secret. It's crazy. All right, guys. So uh, that's about it about the Inwin 301C case. And uh, if you liked the video, like it. And if you thought it was helpful, why not subscribe to my channel and stay in touch? Well, enjoy your life, guys. And uh, I hope you buy yourself a nice case.